What's up guys, Gary with SCT. Hey, I'm gonna be doing a review over the GPS handgunner backpack range bag, all right? Um, I kind of wanted to get away from the duffel bag range, uh, range bag look um, and go with a backpack. Um, and I found one in GPS. Uh, I, I think it's gonna be more versatile uh, for what I wanna do, whether that's going to the range, obviously, um, going to competitions. Um, and then also like if you're into hiking or take, wanting to take a bunch of stuff with you, and have your guns and ammo and everything. Like, I think this is like the way to do it. Um, so in the next couple of months, I'm, I'm anxious to see like what, uh, you know, if I made the right decision and if I'm gonna keep this. Um, so I'm gonna, I have it packed pretty much full right now. Um, I'm gonna unpack it for you guys to show you what I fit in there. And then like kind of some other ideas of what you could do, like switching some things out. And then what I would take away from the bag and then what I'm going to add to the bag. I am already going to put some mods on it, like not like probably just one or two mods on there just to make the bag better. I think overall, just looking at it and how, how uh, I've been interacting with it so far, it's, um, it's, it's really a really nice bag. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it and unpack this bag for you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rip that bad guy off of there and I'm going to put one of my favorite patches I've received. Throw that on there, all right? So that's cool, you can put your own thing on there. Um, I'm gonna turn this around, all right? And we're gonna start in the back. Um, I do like that it has these soft panels uh, and then got one for the lower back. Uh, so pretty comfortable when it's, uh, when it's up against your back. Um, the only thing I don't like, they do have that same material here on the straps, but it's very thin and like, uh, if you're gonna go hiking or something like, You'll want to go get on Amazon and get like uh, one of those gel sleeves to put over um, if you're going to carry it for a long period of time. So they could have done a little better with the straps. Um, I did like how they have this rubber on top of the carrying handle here. It's just like an added upgrade, added touch to it. Uh, it shows like a little care into the bag because um, they could have skipped out and gone cheap with that. Uh, we stay here in the back and these are two loops, uh, very stretchy. Uh, and you're going to be able to carry targets. So I feel like uh, the way it stretches, you're going to be able to carry a pretty significant amount of uh, uh, targets with you. Um, so we're going to start kind of here on the top with the first zipper. Um, I really like this about this bag. I really like, it's really cool. Um, pull that out and it's a water resistant uh, bag. It's attached here just with a thread. I feel like over time, like you pull on it, like more wear and tear, it's gonna end up ripping off. So I would get in there and probably reinforce that a little bit more, um, but just know that it might, it might rip off eventually, um, but it'll be an easy sew job if it does. And then it just takes a few seconds. Like I said before, like this bag is completely full pretty much. And this thing stretches and covers the whole thing. Uh, so that's really cool, I like that. And then it just takes a couple seconds to do this when you're done with it. Roll it up. And then it zips away. That's a really cool thing about this, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and flip this around. This looks like a little admin pouch on top. Um, but it's actually opens up into a deep pocket. All right. Um, they could have made the, the flap a little bigger, uh, in my opinion, but um, pretty large pouch. I have, I fit two full size walkers, um, headphones in there, and I got a med kit. Um, and then you can see kind of like the size of it. It goes about right here uh, where it cuts off. Uh, when we'll get into this part, I'll show you, but um, this pad in here, it's soft on top and then there's a hard bottom to it. So um, it's got good support. Uh, if you don't want to put like things like that inside, you can take like a small ammo can and that'll fit right down in there just like that. And I can still throw my med kit on top or like, you know, a jacket or a sweatshirt or something that I don't know about a sweatshirt, but maybe like a rain jacket would fit on top here. Um, I'm just gonna uh, carry my ammo cans with me to the range for now. Um, but you put a med kit and these two side, uh, headphones in, 
Uh, and then there's plenty of room for a sweatshirt for sure. All right. Um, let's go to this front admin pouch. It kind of just extends out just a tad. Um, it's got this, I, I just have like a right in the rain, uh, my, my shooting gloves, and then, you know, some, a bottle, a, a tube of lube, to, <laughs> tube of lube. Anyway, um, it's got this like little front zipper pouch, as you can see there, um, you can put like your notebook in there. So these two little pouches here are for your headphones. No one uses like the ones that go in your ear anymore. Like thing in the past, like it's over the head earphones or like the plug-in. So I guess if you're using like the Walker plug-ins, like the little plugs um, that you can like their Bluetooth and stuff, like those would fit in here. But um, it's made for those little foamies. So I just use it for like my glass cleaner, um, little things like that. And then this is a specific glasses case right here. Uh, has my shooting glasses in there. Um, and inside, you can't really see it, but this material is that fiber cloth. So it's, it's really nice for the glasses. It's not gonna scratch it up. The only thing I don't like the placement of the glasses. Um, it's on front, it takes a lot of beating. Like um, I, I'm, I would probably switch that around if it was my choice, but it is what it is. I just gotta be a little more careful um, with how I you know, treat my bag and stuff, right? But it's a range bag, right? Like I should be able to throw it around or make this front cover a little more harder uh, like they did down here. Uh, that's just, you know, my, my little two cents on that. So we'll go here to the side. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is that the zipper doesn't come all the way down. It stops about three quarters of the way. So you're not gonna be able to like stretch it. Um, it doesn't pull out very much. Uh, so I have in this pocket, I have my charger uh, for my, uh, my shot clock or my shot timer and my shot timer. That's all pretty much that's gonna fit in that pocket. All right. Um, we'll move down here. This is a very large pocket, as you can see. Um, I got two staplers and I have my staples in there. Um, so good pocket for that. Uh, and then here's your mag one of your magazine holders. I got six on this side and they have mag extensions on them. So. They fit uh, mag extensions. You're not gonna be able to fit anything else in this though. Um, so spe uh, specifically for magazines. Flip this over, same thing on the other side. Uh, I just got some uh, snap caps and some pacers. All right, that's, like I said, that's all it's gonna fit in there. Could be used for gloves, could be used for a couple other things, but really small. Same thing on the other side uh, for this. I have four AR mags. You're not gonna fit five. Um, I've tried. Um, it has like this little separator piece in there. Um, and then a little pouch. I don't know what you're gonna use all that for, but uh, I'm gonna use it for my four AR mags. Um, another, if, if I don't, if I want the capability of putting ammo in here, I would probably take these out and put those in my rifle case and put the ammo in this big pouch. Um, but uh, if I don't want to put the can inside, right? I just got to play around with my loadout on this. Uh, same thing on this side, six magazines with extenders, um, extent mag extensions, and you're not going to fit anything else in there. Right? Uh, so my going to my favorite part of this bag and one of the selling points is um, this outside. It's very uh, protective. It's hard. Um, but it give, it has a little bend to it, so you can fit things in there. Um, and I'll show you here in, in a sec. So this is a a little you know rain protection pocket here. If you don't want to get anything wet. And then this is the four. Uh, it holds four full size pistols. Um, it's just like styrofoam, and you can see all the room inside there. Um, so if you don't want to carry your pistols with you, I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Um, you can fit ammo cans in here. It's big enough for anything. Um, so like I said, this is styrofoam. You can cut it, like people modify it. They can like, if you're only gonna have two pistols like this, I would put one over here and then I'd cut it in half 
and then you could fit like a small ammo can on the side here. Um, but if you want the capability of having all four slots because you have more guns, um, perfect, right? Um, this is a CZ uh, P10 full size with an optic. So that fits in there nicely. And then this, I have a Glock 45 with a compensator and an optic on it. And they fit nice in there. Um, you will see that they, the pistol grips do stick out a little bit. That's no problem. That was one of my concerns on some of the reviews. Um, but you stick it in there. This, like I said, it's hard, but it bends a little bit. So you just push it up against there and there's no protrusion. It kind of gives way a little bit. So you have that standoff, you have that play in there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the pouches. Let's go ahead and get into a couple of the mods I was gonna talk about. All right guys, so some a uh, couple of the mods I was gonna do, um, like I could use the carrying handle if I want to, but I think I'm gonna use something up here. Um, I like the option of putting my belt on the, on the bag. Like I could run it through this belt, like I said, or I might sew in a loop, something similar to what they have for the targets. Um, but something that sews in and like hooks my, uh, my belts on so I can carry my pack and have my belts hooked onto this. Um, I like that option. I have, I, I carry multiple belts, um, everyday carry. I have my uh, competition belt and then I have my duty belt. Um, I'd like to carry all of them on here. So that's what, I just want to have that uh, capability um, to do so. And it'd be an easy, easy mod on here. Um, the only other thing I really don't like about this bag is like they don't accommodate for over the head, um, over the headphones or over the ear headphones. Uh, like I showed you before, I have to give up a quite a bit of space in here to fit one or two. Um, so that's just one thing that's kind of a bummer, but you know, I could move things around, um, and accommodate that, but, um, I won't be able to carry the AR mags if I, if I wanted to do so. I'd take those out, put the ammo in there, and then I'd still have room for my headphones. So I don't know, different loadouts for different things. So, you know, it's an easy switch, no big deal. Um, so overall, um, I think this is going to do really well for what I want it to do. Um, it's very versatile, like I said before. Like I'm going to be able to go hiking, go to the range, everything I want to do, um, and it fits everything that I that I want, honestly. Um, so overall, can't wait to to start using it. Um, I think GPS came out with a great bag. Um, hopefully, this video helped out. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.